my dear students assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may allah's peace mercy and blessings be upon you all welcome to the second part of our reading and vocabulary lesson today we have two main learning objectives which are to locate specific information after reading the text Sir Edmund Hillary and to consolidate six vocabulary words in context. Kindly open your student books page 24. For the first part we read this text got its main idea and knew why Sir Edmund Hillary is famous. Let me ask you some questions and you need to answer them. Where was Sir Edmund Hillary born? Mm -hmm. In New Zealand. When did he try mountain climbing for the first time? Hmm. Perfect. On a school trip. How old was he when he climbed to Mount Olivier? Excellent. 20. What was his dream? Perfect. To climb Mount Everest. And finally, who were the first people to climb Mount Everest? Wonderful. Edmund Hillary and Tenzin Nurgay. Good job, my students. Here in activity C, we have some questions that you need to answer. First, read these questions. You can pause the video till you finish reading these questions. Well, how can you answer these questions? Mm -hmm. Through reading this text. So, read this text in order to answer these questions. Also, you can pause the video till you finish doing this activity. And then come and check your answers. Number one. The first mountain Sir Edmund Hillary climbed was Mount hmm. Excellent. Ruapihu. How did you answer this? Or how did you know this? Mm -hmm. From the text. He tried mountain climbing for the first time on a school trip to Mount Ruapihu and discovered he could easily do it. Number two. Tenzing Nurgay was from? Hmm. Perfect. Nepal. How did you know this? Mm -hmm. Tenzing Nurgay, a mountain climber from Nepal. Thank you. Number three. Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Nurgay were the first men to reach? Hmm. Wonderful. The top of Mount Everest. How did you know this? After about seven weeks, on the 29th of May, Edmund Hillary and Tenzin Norgay, a mountain climber from Nepal, reached the top. Number four. Another name for Mount Everest is of the world. Hmm. Excellent. 
the third pool. How did you know this? Uh huh. As stated in the text, many people call Mount Everest the third pool of the world. Thanks a lot, my students, and well done. Let's move on. Activity D. Can you please read this question? What does the writer mean when he says they couldn't stay there for very long because the air was thin? How can you answer this question? Excellent. Through reading this text, specifically this paragraph. So you need to read this paragraph again to answer this question you can pause the video till you answer this question so what does he mean by this when he says they couldn't stay there for very long because the air was thin excellent he means there wasn't much oxygen in the air because thin here means little let's move on here we have one more activity can you please read these questions you can pause the video till you finish reading them how can you answer these questions? Mm -hmm. Through reading this text. So, you need to read this text to answer these questions. Also, you can pause the video till you finish doing this activity. And then come and check your answers. Here you can find the key answers. Let's move on. Activity E. Find words in the text to match the definitions below. Then check your answers in a dictionary here we need to find words from the text that match these definitions okay for example who is the person who travels to places to explore them who is the person who climbs okay how can we answer them? We need to go back to the text and search for the words that match these two definitions. Okay? A person who travels to places to explore. This is a key word for this definition. Let's go to the text. Sir Edmund Henry was a famous explorer hmm. explorer look at this word the person who explores is called an explorer the person who travels to places to explore them hmm. Is called an explorer. So the correct answer here is explorer. Who is the person who climbs? Hmm. Let's go back to the text. Sir Edmund Hillary was a famous explorer and mountain climber. A person who climbs is called perfect climber. 
So the correct answer here is climber. Well done, my students. Here we said what? Mm -hmm. A person who travels to places to explore them is called mm -hmm, an explorer. And a person who climbs is called a climber. So we added what? Perfect. ER. And here? Excellent. ER. My students. Here we have explore and climb. They are perfect verbs. After adding ER to explore and climb, they become what? Perfect nouns. So, when I add ER to the end of the verb, it becomes a noun. Is that clear? Explore becomes explorer. From a verb, it becomes a noun. And likewise, for climber, it was climb. And after e adding er, mm -hmm, it becomes climber. From a verb to a noun. So, when I add er to the end of the verb, it becomes a noun. Okay, we form many nouns that refer to people by adding the suffix er to nouns, like far, it becomes farmer, or verbs, teach, teacher. Let's practice. Here, we need to form nouns by adding what er to the end of these words you can pause the video till you do this activity and then come and check your answers hmm number 1 paint hmm excellent Painter. Two. Right. Wonderful. Writer. Three. Swim. Great. Swimmer. Four. When. Awesome. Winner. Five. Train. Hmm. Perfect. Trainer. Number six. Photograph. Great. Photographer. Seven. Travel. Great. Traveler. Eight. Drive. Excellent. Driver. And finally, build, builder. Now, we've come to the last stage of our lesson, which is the closure. Let me ask you a question. What have you learned today? Mm -hmm. Today, we've located specific information after reading the text Sir Edmund Hillary and we've consolidated six vocabulary words in context. And that's the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, my students, and good luck for you all. Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته